Hey everyone, uh, I haven't done a vlog in a while, mainly because I haven't had that much to talk about. Uh, for most of this year so far, I either haven't had much of a chance to go to the movies, or when I did have a chance, there wasn't anything that I really wanted to see. Uh, finally, that has changed. There's uh, finally, a movie has come out that I did want to see, and that was the Evil Dead remake. More out of curiosity than anything, I did not expect this to be good because remakes are usually shit. But thankfully, that was not the case with this one. Um, I don't think it's a great movie. I don't think it's nearly as good as the original. But it's still pretty good for what it is. Uh, certainly much better than most remakes end up being. Um... The story for this one, if you've seen the original, not much has changed as far as the basic plot goes. Uh, they added a few little details here and there. Um, basically, there are five kids spending a weekend at some cabin in the woods, and they're up there because one of them is a recovering heroin addict, and she is trying to finally quit the habit cold turkey, and they've basically brought her up there to stage an intervention. And... Um, while they're up there, of course, they go into the basement of this cabin, and they find, among many other disturbing things, a book bound in human flesh. So, of course, what do you do when you find the Book of the Dead? You do exactly what you shouldn't do. You open it up and start reading it. Even though the very first page has scrawled in blood, do not read this book. But, of course, they're like, huh, well, that's interesting. Seriously, do not read this book, okay? You idiot, stop reading this. Why the fuck are you still reading this? Are you asking for death? Okay. Okay, dude, seriously, what the hell is wrong with you? This is not a very good story. Cool pictures, though. So, yeah, they... Of course, one guy inadvertently casts some spell, and that unleashes the evil force who starts, you know, haunting the drug addict... And, of course, her friends don't believe she's being haunted because they figure, well, she's going through heroin withdrawal, she's just freaking out and hallucinating, which was actually kind of a nice touch. It was a bit of a welcome change from the typical, you know, one person is being haunted by some unseen force and no one else believes her. Now there's actually a legitimate reason for that. And that was actually a pretty nice touch to the story. I like that. Um, and then, of course, she eventually goes full deadite and all hell breaks loose. You know, again, if you've seen the original, you know the drill. So, now what this movie does not do particularly well, first of all, character development. There isn't any. There, these characters are all blank slates that are basically just there to get killed. Um, you know, there's, you know, druggy. I can't even remember their names. I didn't bother to look them up because there's no point. There's... There's no point in them. There's, there's Druggy, there's New Ash, who is Druggy's brother. There is New Ash's girlfriend. That's it, she's the girlfriend. There's the nurse. That's it, she's a nurse. She's up there for medical support because, from what I hear, heroin withdrawal is pretty nasty. And then there's hipster Kurt Cobain. That's the best way I can describe this guy. He's hipster Kurt Cobain, and he's the jackass that ends up reading the book and summoning the evil force. Because someone has to do it. And, yeah, there's... There wasn't anything really wrong with the acting, it's just the characters didn't really have much to work with. Um, and in some cases, they had nothing to work with. Uh, quite literally nothing in the case of New Ash's girlfriend, because there's a 20-minute chunk of the movie where she just kind of disappears and she's not seen nor heard from, and then she just randomly pops up later. I'm like, where the hell did she go? It's like, there's, sorry, we ran out of stuff to put in the script for your character. In fact, you're only here because there were five people in the original movie and we needed five here, so just go sit in the corner until we need you to start dying. So, yeah. Um, another thing that was not done very well, for the most part... The, uh, the direction and the cinematography is okay, but there are a few moments here and there where it gets way too shaky and starts getting kind of hard to follow. And there is one scene in particular where New Ash is fighting a deadite in the basement. And, I mean, li literally, this is how this fight scene goes. You know, you see the deadite just kind of 
flying towards him, like almost literally flying. It doesn't look like they're running. They're just kind of gliding through the air. And then it just cuts to the wall on the opposite side of the room, and you see new Ash fly in from off camera and hit the wall. And then it just repeats this two more times, like, Rawr! opposite wall, whoop, Rawr! opposite wall. So you, you don't even see the Deadite grab New Ash and throw him. Or then again, maybe you do, and it was just so dark and shaky that I couldn't tell. I'm not sure. But yeah, that part in particular looked really cheap. Um, like almost Uwe Ball levels of cheap. It it, it looked bad. I, I almost wonder if that was one of the last things they shot, and just at that point they ran out of money and said, oh, well, we got to do what we got. So... It's like, let, let's make it work with what little money we have left. I, I don't know for a fact that that happened, but I wouldn't be surprised. And, uh, let me see, what else was there? Oh, I remember. It was, uh, the tagline for this movie was, the most terrifying film you will ever experience. No. There is nothing scary in this movie at all, except maybe the very end but you know for the most part there are no scares in this movie at all uh it's really just a gore fest now it's a pretty well done gore fest in fact that brings me to the things this movie does well the gore effects are phenomenal um in fact if you are a bit squeamish this may be a movie you want to avoid um not if you're squeamish from scares, but from gore, because it's almost done a little too well. There are some rather unsettling moments, and they're done practically. They don't rely on CGI very much at all. It's almost all practical. It's like finally someone figured out you don't need CGI blood. You can just, you know, mix together some liquid that looks like it, and it works, and it's not that expensive. And it rains blood throughout this movie, uh, literally at the end. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, another thing this movie does very well is paying tribute to the original, because there are all sorts of nods to the original series. Um, of course, there is a chainsaw. Uh, and uh, also the house that they are in, I don't know if it's supposed to be the same house or if they just wanted to make it look like the original. In any case, they did a damn good job, because it looks really good. They did a damn good job recreating that. And the third thing it does very well is it keeps you guessing as far as who is going to survive. Because the... Trying to be as vague as possible here because I don't want to spoil anything, but the person or persons that do survive in the end were not who I expected at all. It was very unpredictable. Uh, at least for me. I can't speak for everyone, but I did not see it coming. So kudos to the screenwriters for taking that route. It worked very well. Um, that's about uh, all I have to say on this movie, I think. If you were a fan of the original, it's worth seeing this one. Um, I liked it. I don't think I would go out of my way to see it again, but you know, it I, I don't regret the purchase. I think it's worth seeing. If, if you like um, movies that do practical, gory effects very well, you'll enjoy this. If you do not like lots of blood and guts, stay the fuck away. <laughs> so, yep, that's about it. And until next time, if you are ever in a cabin up in the woods and you find a book bound in human flesh, don't read it. Just don't. We're gonna get you, not another pee. Time to go to sleep.